is this gonna now make you go again? Because you do 110%. Yeah, like, the, the thing is, the, the whole format of the event, not just saying this because we lost 10 nil, but it wasn't like you put the best in your stable on. Because if they put the best in their stable on, some of those fights would be one-sided. If we put the best of our stable on, like if I would have said lightweights and I go Andy Cruz, like, but that's not the essence of the event. The essence of the event is making the matchups that are pure pick and fights. The downside for us was, out of five coin flips, we lost every coin flip straight off the bat. It was something like 60 to one, the result of, of what happened. So it was a little bit of a freak. Statistical anomaly. Yeah, but it happened. So what can you say? But, you know, the, the feedback of the event was so good that, was crazy. that it kind of like softened the blow a little bit. A little bit. Can, can I make a suggestion? Mm. And this is just me being the analy analyst that I am. Is it, you're the most internationally rounded promoter, yeah. right? You individually and as a company. Is it fair to say that maybe some of the American boys didn't quite get the intensity of the British rivalry between you and Frank? Not to say yeah, they maybe, wouldn't fight I mean, as hard, you know, but to say what was but, on the line. Yeah, you know, people said, do you think you made the right decision making Deontay Wilder captive, right? Well, we lost every fight, so it actually didn't matter who we made captain. You got to go for broke. But everybody, everybody gave it their all. I mean, Ammo was unbelievable. Yeah, he was. You know, didn't quit. Craig, I thought his performance was a little bit disappointing. I really expected him to win. Ray, I thought, edged the fight, but could have gone either way. It's a tremendous fight. So it was just like one of those where, you know, unfortunately, nothing went our way. And even Hergovic, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I feel like Hergovic didn't quite look that animal, El Animal, that, that he could do, physically even, do you know what I mean? And Dubois was great. So, yeah, I think I, I think you're right in a way that the Brits would definitely understand a little bit more that rivalry and the importance to win. But everybody wanted to win. You know, I can't I can't put it down to that. Obviously, Ray Ford, tight of the weight, no yeah. secret. In a perfect world, they'd run it back. But in a real world, they can't run it back. I think if he was staying at 126, I'd be pushing to run it back. I felt like he won the fight, but I felt like it was 115, 113. And it can go either way in that respect. And you saw three cards that were all 115, 113. Um, he has to move to 130. You know, again, in hindsight, you say, should he have moved to 130? But when you've got a big payday and a chance to defend your belt, it's difficult not to just go one more time. Like, and that's not an excuse of why he lost the fight. Like, but he's going to be much better at 130. So Are we looking at 130? Goes, I don't know. Um, I like the fight with Lamont Roach Jr., WBA champ, two Americans fighting for the world title. Um, obviously, Kakachi's got the IBF. Is there a fight that could be made there? Ray did himself proud. His Excellency loved the performance, loved the fight. Oh, so, he lost no stop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So he'll be back. And obviously, you want to get back on the next five versus Absolutely. five. Absolutely, we're already planning it. It's pending in. Fucking right. This year, we have to. Yeah, we you know whether we do it in Saudi or whether we do it in England, we have to run it back ASAP. And talk to me about this one, Ed. Yeah, it's a great fight. Johnny Fisher against Alan Babich. I mean, two guys that have boxed here. You know, at fight camp. I mean, Alan Babich even proposed here, you know, and it's a great card as well. Big step up for Maisie Rose. John Hedges against Lewis Oakford. Good fight for the Southern Area title. Reese Bellotti against Levi Giles, British and Commonwealth title. A lot of our big prospects on the card as well, but Fisher against Babich. I mean, it's technically fireworks. a next gen, but with Johnny's run for the army. It is a next gen, it is but a next we're going to do 7,000 tickets. Yeah. So quite unusual. It's going to be jumping. Yeah, the, the tickets are already going through the roof. People are talking about first round knockout for Johnny now, which you only rewind two years back. That's crazy. Yeah, look, I think Johnny can punch hard, but so can Alan. And Alan's going to be in his face non-stop through the whole fight. So he's got to be ready. So of course, it's a huge step up for him. So message to the fans, you're well over the hangover. We never get over it till we run it back. But, you know, we had a great time. We had a great event and boxing's flying. So on to the next. Wicked. Nice one, Eddie.